Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Veracti and I'm back at it with a beginner's guide let's play. We're jumping further into Coda's mind and his games where the porn stars okay, this one is die tough. too. It's gonna kinda just spin its own wheels for a few minutes. Hang with it. Okay. So we're stuck in this room. There's a well outside. There's a beautiful picture here. Oh, alright, and I guess I will follow into here. This is a very trippy game. Wonder if I can get up there. The same, the very same picture. I have a theme in my home, and I like to keep with it. Huh? A very, very unique, distinct theme. And I like the uh, the pounding bass. Oh, balls! I'm now in the well. Like, this is it. oh the whole game. And that's there's it. Nothing that's particularly interesting about it. But where's you just the? Walk to the end of a hallway. Except, for some reason, Cody gets really fixated on this prison that has all uh -oh. of this modern furniture. And I don't know why, mm. he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's gonna start over... Where's the lamppost? I thought there's supposed to be a lamppost in every... Okay, cool. Here's version two. In every version of the game, or in every new game. Oh! So modern, and yet so lacking of furniture. What furniture ought to go in the center of the room, it asks me? How about a TV with a surround sound? A refrigerator? Let's put a giant hole in the ground! What the... Is that a giant hole in the ground? So now, what about along the wall? Let's put a huge picture of a horse. I'd really like a washing machine. Ten stones all lined up along the wall. That is not what I asked for. I'm pretty sure. I think we should light up this room. A skylight, full ceiling window. Let's open this baby up. I'm thinking 10 by 12 recessed electric six inch soft LED ceiling, lights with fluorescent trim. We'll put live Tesla coils at each corner. Yeah, I'm going with that. I want the mad scientist out outpost, mad scientist place to live. And a table, I need a table, I have a table. Who are you? Where exactly are you doing this from? I'm pretty sure none of my choices are making a difference. Tables were invented in 1935. Which I'm pretty sure is not true, but it is a funny answer, so I'm going with it. Boom. Look at that, we got two. Oh, what the balls? Oh! Oh! Okay, well then. Uh, there's a bit more to this one, but still, it's not really communicating anything. It, it's kind of just weird for weirdness's sake. That's true. Ah, my painting of my cityscape! This is definitely weird for weirdness's sake. So, oh. okay, he throws it out and starts over. All right. This time he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. We're still in a prison. Hello, and please walk forward. Do I have to? Okay, I guess I will. This guide will enable you to escape any prison environment. But is that true? Follow the instructions carefully. Take care that you remember each step. First, click on this table. Good. Go over to the photo frame and click to turn it slightly. Alright. Hey! There's those dots again! These dots have appeared in like e almost every game so far. If not every game, and I might have just missed them. Now turn the floor lamp in this room off, then turn it back on. Alright. Click. Click. Now go to the left side sofa. Move it over a little. Oh, Alright. Finally, touch the shelves. Alright. Boom. That's it! In a real prison, the escape will now open. Return to the start to be taken back to your prison. Yeah, but I don't wanna. I wanna get out of here. What if I move the, the picture frame back? My cityscape. My precious cityscape. Uh, Alright. Well, here we go. Return to prison. Fabulous. And of course, Beautiful. now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. Uh... Oh. Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. No. And then a version where the inside of the prison oh. is the outside and the outside is the inside. Oh, what the, the inside. balls! Coda, what have you been doing, you man? Click through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. There's Goodness. nearly a dozen of them. Personally, I think it's awful to watch this. To see a person basically 
unraveling through the Oh, there's that there's the puzzle. Like, there's the like, door at puzzle. Point, you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on. Jeez. But Coda doesn't have that voice telling you to stop. That particular really? oh mechanism my gosh. of defense against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going. And then he Ooh. hits on something. And he likes it. And that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created. And the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. Huh. No prison in the prison game? Well, now, isn't that something? Hmm. A little dark. A little dark. But there's the lamppost. There is the lamppost that we've all been waiting for. And apparently, the phone booth that uh, Superman changes into. Oh, hey. Are we Superman in this game? Oh, hi. Oh, this is a little creepy. Hello? Who is this? Hey, it's me! I'm from you... I'm you from After You Escape Prison. You're me? Dot, dot, dot. Ellipses. So you were trapped in this prison too? Yep, I was in the furniture maze. Yep, it's I was in the escape tutorial. Yep, I was in the and reverse so prison. this is what Coda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, mm. and to get some good advice from someone who knows. But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. Huh. You know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. That's very true. What's it like to escape? I'm actually for forgetting what a prison was like. It's strange, but in a way I kind of miss being in the prison. It feels like completely still and wildly in motion at the same time. Do you feel any different? Sometimes I'm scared I'll get out and things will be exactly the same as before. It actually does change. I don't feel like the same person at all. Oh good! That's so nice to hear. That makes me feel really happy. It just kinda does that, you know? It's still me, but I'm not somehow. It's hard to describe. I'm gonna go with... It's hard to describe. Wait, if you're me, then did you get a call from another version of you when you were trapped? Ooh. No, I think I'm the first person to call back. Ooh. Ooh, we're getting into psycho time shenanigans. Yes. That's how I escaped. So now how do I... What did they tell you? What did you have to do to get out? All they told me was to be sincere. They asked me how I felt being imprisoned. They just talked to me for a while. They just talked to me for a while. What? That freed you? How does that work? I would be as confused as previous me right now. Listen, you can't know until it <laughs> you're out. But I promise it works. It will make sense. I am the wise, wise sage from the future. Let's just chit-chat for a bit. Will you be here? I will be here for as long as you need. This is very interesting, Coda talking to himself like this. Oh, I will not be here as long as you why need. he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, uh. just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay, mm. wouldn't that be nice? That would be nice. How strange. How strange it is. Such a abstract concept to make all these games so and then would it make a like game based on your a game expression on that. Someone other than himself. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. This is really neat looking. I'm digging this. this environment is meant to represent Coda's puzzle, with the two doors on either mm. side and a dark transitional space between. Mm. Nope. False. Wait, no! No! I wanted to explore outside. Oh, hello. Hello, friend. Oh, well, my goodness. I'm glad as all heck that you showed up. Thought I might be having to clean this entire house all by myself. And that right miserable would have been. Everyone knows lonesome hands make lousy homes. Is that true? 
to worry about the, the quality of the art is the stuff this nice previously. yeah it is sure including this new and improved chat system which he started using from this point on Ooh. from here on out he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work and this particular game ha! took two months to create as a result mm. this place isn't going to clean itself up as far as i know i'll finish up here in the meantime could you please clear the table all right much nicer. That's the table I want to see. Would you please run into the bedroom and make the bed? Sure. Where's the bedroom? There's the bedroom. Make the bed. Man, I wish it was that easy. Let me straighten out the rug a bit. Details matter. Details matter. Do you enjoy being a house cleaner? Do you? Well, I don't enjoy it so much as I need it. While I'm working, I feel kind of calm that rests in the pit of my ribcage. My soul can not be soothed any other way, it seems, which I guess is all is all about all that matters. Oh, that and a tidy couch. Would you straighten the pillows on the sofa out there? I mean, I guess. What, what festive pillows. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, dear. Looks like someone spilled a drink over by the couch. Maybe mop that up as long as you're over there. Mopping up the table. Mopping up the table, straighten out the couch. I feel compared to Shell an incredibly cheesy personal insight. You okay with that? Make it especially cheesy. <sighs> dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Is he gonna like attack me now? No! No, it was stupid, sorry, never mind. No! Tell me! Hey, watch these dishes. Uh, but now I want to know. It's time I check the tub needed a cleaning. How about you scrub it down as best as you can? No need to be perfect. We're all just human. That's true. I'm guessing it's over here. Ah, much better. You know, you're kind of having me do all the cleaning. Would you put them back on the shelf? Oh, all the, the books scattered on the floor in the bedroom. Okay. Hmm. The, the music is very excellent. Ah, there we go. I love this. It's very calming, very soothing as a clean. Perfect. Now then, how about you come back and clear these dishes off the table? This house cleaning level almost feels like I, cleansing. I thought I did this part it's already. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you, and eventually cohere into something meaningful. Whatever you have, to, whatever work you do, you absolutely got to own it. Otherwise, it owns you. So why don't we be with the task at hand and leave the future really chores like to the future you? Present, work, actually, present you want to smooth out the rug in the bedroom, believe it or not. Ask me to come Trust me on this one. It. This was during a period of a few months where he was, like, grossly happy all the time. Mm. Just walked around with a constant smile on his face. Wow. I think when I said I had a really cheesy thought, I was going to say that it occurs to me that one's house is a lot like one's soul. You take care of it, and it takes care of you. <laughs> Don't know why I felt so weird about saying that. I get it, it's a weird thing to say someone you just met. Yeah, you're right, that's pretty cheesy. But there's a bit of truth in it, you know? Yeah. Anyway. So, housekeeping. Let's keep doing this. Cleaning up the books. Alright, cleaning up the books. Thanks. Oh goodness. I'm just pillows over the couch up there. A real mess. Yeah, this is such a strangely pleasant experience. Question. But do you enjoy this? Oh. It can't last. Ooh. The music stops, your companion is gone, it's time to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Again, uh. you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just mm. can't. You have to keep moving. You have it's to how keep you moving. stay alive. Wow. Yeah. That's right. Ooh. Huh. 
Her. That's very wonderful food for thought. I. <laughs> this is a very excellent little game. It, uh, it has so much meaning and it's so short and so easily overlooked by someone who might just casually start it up one day and say, this is ridiculous, why are you doing this? The deeper meaning is... <laughs> wow, it really makes me have to step back and think. Gosh. <laughs> yeah, I... I don't know, I... I wanted to connect more with that, that guy that cleans the house, you know? Get to know him better. Is that how Coda felt too? He wanted to get to know other people better, or he wanted to reach out and to actually talk to people rather than just talking to himself the whole time, but the cleaning of the house is really symbolic to one cleaning of one's soul and one's life, and how you always have to constantly move and keep going forward, or things will just pile up. And, ugh. Yeah. This might be too deep in f even for me. If you guys have any extra nuggets of wisdom, what you think about this part, let me know in the comments, guys. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Let's see if we, uh, Davey has any extra words of wisdom for us at the end of the level. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. Yeah. I really thought that was the point of it. This game is so thought-provoking. I love it. I am so glad that I got to play this game. It, it, it's been out there for a while now, but... Gosh, I think everyone should experience this, whether you play games or not. It's such a strange look into the human psyche, into somebody's specific human psyche, and maybe you'll even find out more about yourself as you go. Wow. Yeah, that last part just really rocked me in a weird way. I hope you guys enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing. And either way, thank you so much for making my play experience your play experience, guys. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Only my enemies get to graze upon my face. Wait, graze upon my face? Gaze upon my face. I don't want my enemies to graze upon my face. Where did all of you come from? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mother of zombies. Don't you know I just want to get you some balls in your face there, is that okay? Is that okay if I can get some balls in the face there? Whoa, whoa no, somebody put your balls in your face before I could. I feel kind of bad for beating a lady in the back of a gas station. Right? With a baseball bat. With a baseball bat. <laughs> and you're recording the whole thing. Yeah.